Hey guys, welcome to my 31 week bump date update. This week, baby is the size of a coconut. I don't really have coconuts around the house, so I don't really know how big that is. But it says baby's about three-ish pounds. So baby is chunking up. Fat is starting to um, accumulate under their skin. Baby can stretch, kick, and somersault, which I do feel that. And also, uh, brain development is kicking into high gear. So all good things, all necessary things. As for how I'm doing, I'm definitely struggling. Shockingly, my back has actually felt not too bad, and I don't know what the change is, but it used to be that I would have to wear my belly band like all the time. Um, every day, all day. And lately I've been able to get by with not having to put it on until like evening. So that's been really, really nice. Instead of back pain though, I'm having this like left under rib pain. I don't know what this is. It must be like a stretched muscle or something, but it hurts so bad. It's, it hurts when I'm sitting up for a long bouts of time and there's nothing I can really put on it. Usually if I like put pressure on it like this, it feels better, but it's just, oh, the pain is so bad. I don't know if it's my skin stretching, if it's a muscle, I don't know what it is. I had this with my other two pregnancies. It goes away after birth, but man, it just hurts right now. And it's starting to affect like sleeping, like obviously I sleep on my side and it will start hurting when I'm sleeping. And so I've started to put like a pillow under my belly and I think that helps a little bit, but oh, it really hurts. But thankfully my back is feeling a lot better. You win some, you lose some, I guess. Heartburn has been not too bad. Every evening it's pretty bad and I usually have to take Tums before I go to bed. Otherwise, like laying down, like in that lay down position, it's just constant heartburn. But if I take Tums before I lay down, then I feel, I don't really feel the heartburn at all. So that's been nice. Baby has been kicking like crazy. I feel her all the time. She gets hiccups all the time. I mean, nothing really new there. Definitely the kicks are getting stronger. Um, I feel a lot of like elbows or knees like going like this across my stomach, which is fun. I've been having quite a few Braxton Hicks. Uh, they happen sporadically, usually when I'm just sitting down. They don't really hurt very much, but I have been feeling them more often, which is good because it's just my body getting ready for birth, which is exciting. It's crazy to think that I have nine-ish weeks left to go and she will be here we i think we've got a first name down for baby girl but we're still working on the middle name haven't quite nailed down the middle name yet so i'm not gonna reveal the name yet but we're close which is exciting also we're starting to get things prepared for baby girl so my mom came over uh, this past weekend and helped me get all of my newborn baby things out of our crawl space because it's really hard for me to get in there and so we've gotten all of my breast feeding things out so I need to take stock of what I have and get what I don't have. We got out the bassinet, I'm looking at it, I need to set it up but we have the bassinet so I need to put that on the side of the bed. We've gotten out the swing and the pack and play because I use that as like a diaper changing station in the beginning. Lots of things like that. My mom is planning on getting me a new rocking chair because ours is falling apart. So she's gonna get me a new one as an early birthday present. And so we're gonna go shopping this next weekend for one. So I'm super excited about that. We ended up moving, um, changing beds around in the boys' rooms. My oldest is now in a queen size bed. So that way he's in a bigger bed and then we can also use it as a guest bed if need be. And then we put bunk beds in another room so that eventually we will kick my youngest son Porter out 
and put him in the bunk bed so then baby girl can get the crib. Doing lots of things to prepare, which is exciting. Anthony and I have been shopping around for minivans. We basically know which one we want. So it just is a matter of us going and buying it. So that's exciting, making progress there. So slowly getting things ready. I'm really hoping that Baby Girl comes next month. It's February 2nd today, it's Groundhog Day. Um, technically her due date is April 4th, but I'm hoping, hoping, hoping she comes in March. So we will see. I definitely feel huge, huge, huge. I feel uh, like when I'm laying on one side and I have to, and I wanna like turn to lay on my other side, I just feel it's like such an ordeal to like lift my whole belly and like move it over. Uh, it's just huge. <laughs> and I walk very, very slow. Anthony says I waddle. So there's that. I'm just very tired lately. It doesn't help that it's winter. We don't really get outside very much because it's cold. And so I don't really do a lot of like walking around. It's just the same thing every day after day, staying inside. So it's hard to like keep my spirits up right now. So I've been feeling just kind of more emotional lately, which I'm sure is to do with like the hormones, but also to do with like the winter blues. So I've been dealing with that this week. I'm definitely getting to the point where everyone around me is like noticing that I'm pregnant. I went to go pick up my son from preschool the other day and always when I go to pick him up I'm wearing a heavy coat because it's cold outside. So not a lot of people were able to like see my belly. Like if it was warm outside I wouldn't wear a coat and then people would really see how pregnant I am. But you can't really tell that much but now even with a coat on I had one of my mom friends come up to me and she was like I didn't know you were pregnant. So it's like I can't even hide the bump anymore with coat which is funny. I'm still dealing with pregnancy insomnia here or there. Some nights I'm fine and some nights I just can't go back to sleep. At least once a night I'm waking up to go to the bathroom, sometimes twice. And so sometimes I can go right back to sleep and other times I'm just wide awake and then I'm so, so tired the next day. So I will not miss the pregnancy insomnia. I know I'll be up all night nursing a baby, but Hopefully I'll be able to go right back to sleep after I nurse the baby. My belly has definitely been a little more itchier than normal and I think that's just like my skin stretching and the itchiness that comes from that. Like I said, my belly has been getting very, very big. Definitely feeling huge. I'm still dealing with nose congestion and just feeling really stuffed up every morning but then it goes away as the day goes on. So that's been kind of annoying. Still getting my like intense nose, like I'm about to sneeze, but then I never do sneeze. I get that once a day, every day, super annoying. I'm not really craving things, but I do find myself leaning towards wanting sweets a lot more than usual. So I've been baking a lot of cookies, which my kids love, but my husband does not because then he is tempted to eat cookies, <laughs> so I have to try to not do it too much. <laughs> I have noticed that my hair has grown so long and it is so thick. Usually I'm constantly pulling hair out all the time and obviously with pregnancy you lose less hair. So I'm not looking forward to losing it all at once like I always do after birth, um, but I am planning on getting my hair cut. Uh, right before baby comes and hopefully like getting it thinned because I have very thick hair so I want to get it thinned and trimmed and hopefully that will help um, all the hair loss that is to come. I guess that's going to be it. I keep trying to think of anything else that's new. Nothing really major, just that my back pain has surprisingly gotten a lot better. I guess I haven't been too out of breath either. Maybe she has gotten lower or something. I mean, I feel like she's always been low, but yeah, I don't know. Maybe something has shifted and uh, I don't know. My back has already, yeah, my, my breath hasn't been too short. I mean, it is, but not as much as it has been. So yeah, something definitely shifted this week. I don't know what it was, but I'm not complaining. Wish this pain would go away, like right here, but it is what it is. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to tune in next week. I have a doctor's appointment coming up in a little over a week. So I will definitely 
report on that once it happens. But other than that, I'm just gonna keep chugging along and taking things day by day. I think when you get this far in your pregnancy, that that's kind of what you have to do in the third trimester is just take things day by day and get through hard parts as you can. So anyway, thank you again for watching. Make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.